Welcome to Golden Mastermind Seminars Radio with your host, Jeffrey Combs. Good afternoon, everyone. Jeffrey Combs. It is a beautiful Tuesday, year of our Lord, 2023. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I look up one day and I am 66 years old. Can you believe it? 66 years old. It seems like yesterday I was 40. I was in my first year of my, let's see, was I 41? I was in my first year of Golden Mastermind Seminars and Incorporated. Timothy Hardy, how are you, my brother? You are first on Tuesday, Facebook Live here. Good afternoon, everyone. Jeffrey Combs, President Founder. David Harris, how are you, my brother? David, I absolutely miss you. Would love to have you come out and spend a week with Henry and me someday soon, David. And you can see my new crib, David, my new pad. Good evening or good afternoon, everyone. Just getting dialed in here for the Diana. Hey, Diana, how are you? My young superstar, Diana. Good to be here with you, Diana. Timothy, I am great. Timothy, can you, David, can you believe this, David? I am going to be 67 years old. David, you were with me back in the day when I was, God, was I still in my, what was I, early 50s? Good afternoon, everyone. Breathe, release, and let go. This is eyeglass number three today. Today is break your eyeglasses day. Good afternoon, everyone. Good to be here with you. Diana, how are you, my sister from another mister? Timothy, David, good to be here with you. On it. Tamara, how are you? Tamara's tuning in from the sauna, breathing, releasing, letting go. I had the privilege of coaching Tamara today. She is absolutely crushing it in her network marketing business. Congratulations, you and Ashley Jeans. David says, outstanding. Let's talk about a trip to Stockton. Yes, David, we can do that. You, me, and Henry. We will be the trifecta. We'll be the love brothers. So welcome, everyone. Jeffrey Combs, president and founder Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated. Today's topic is a topic that all of us will understand, letting go of control. Letting go of control. No longer being in control of being out of control. I have said that statement many, many times. Heather, good to see you here this afternoon. I'm going to be having dinner with Heather. 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 David Harris is on today's Facebook Live. He's been my millionaire apprentice on and off for a number of years. I'm going to take, we're going to dine at one of my favorite restaurants, Prime Table, if you want to look that restaurant up. Kevin Clinton Paulson, good to see you. Kevin Clinton Paulson has been to Stockton, California at Breakthroughs to Success, June 2019. Kevin, good to see you here this afternoon. Heather Vodgen is going to be in Stockton, California this Friday. So Heather, looking forward to that. Chris Boland, good to see you this afternoon. Let's move into the inspirational portion of today's Facebook Live. Letting go of control. If you are in control of being out of control, you are overwhelmed. If you are overwhelmed, you are going to live in a place called the payoff. And in the payoff, you're going to recreate the same situation to fulfill the same set of feelings. The term the payoff is a, is a very challenging place for a large percent of society in the world to rigorously and honestly understand why they do what they do. Now, if you're in recovery, you're having a better understanding of why the payoff or the pleasure isn't worth the pain, and you are letting go, and what you're letting go of is control. So control is the lower self, that's the analytical egoic mind, the analytical mind that lives in a trauma bond, a panic pattern, and lives in fight or flight. And that ego seeks to control an outcome that has not happened. Alex, how are you this afternoon? So good to see you, my superstar Alex Rose. Tamara is on today's Facebook Live here, so say hello to Tamara. Alex, say hello to Tamara. So good to have both of you here this afternoon. Ladies, I'm covering control and what it means to let go of control. The ego tries to control the outcome that has not happened. Oftentimes, living back over his shoulder in a place called regret. So we're stuck in these places of control of the outcome and regret of the past. It's an overwhelming state where a lot of people reside. It's like they take residence and the zip code is L-O-S-E-R or 000, five zero. So the zip code is loser. And you continue to live in this lose time, lose track, 
and aren't really gaining any ground, holding on to the past, worried about the future. And that's what control is. It's a control is not, you're not trying to control yourself. You're in control of being out of control. So you're trying to control the future. If you would let go of control, then you realize there is no control because it's one day at a time. Michelle says aloha to everyone. That must mean you are in Hawaii, Michelle. Good to have you here this afternoon. Topic for today's Facebook Live is letting go of control. Controlling the future that has not happened. That's a very famous quote that I say over and over and over. Many people attempt to control the future of what has not happened, while being in an out of control state, meaning that unorganized, undisciplined, behind, late in these situations. And what you end up controlling is disappointment. That's the outcome that trying to control a future that hasn't happened consistently brings. If you go to my Facebook profile, there is a promotional piece that is written with this topic on it and the syllabus for today's Facebook Live. So number one is is controlling the future that has not happened. Number two is what is control? Control is the ego's way of attempting to be in charge of the future that hasn't happened. And once again, once you understand what that means, that's the worry. And that's the worry about your mother's coming to visit you. That's the worry about not being able to create any money. So many salespeople end up feeling out of control because they are on straight commission and they don't have that safety net. See, the ego wants a safety net. The ego wants to go, is it safe? Is it safe? No, it's not fucking safe. You're in sales, chief. Grow up. If this isn't about safety. This is about results. This is about letting go. Letting go. No, you don't understand. I, I, I have to have a salary, a fixed income. Yes, I do understand. That will keep you, that, that zip code is called USA B-R-O-K-E. That's the five digit zip code broke. That's what the safety net, your safety zone is your comfort zone and that's your failure zone. So if you are in business for yourself, free enterprise, where you can create and attract what the free market will bear, there are no limitations. David Morrison is on today's Facebook Live. I have the privilege of being David's coach. David is a seven-figure income earner in direct sales in Australia in custom home building. David, give me a fist five, my brother. David Morrison, my homeboy, down under in Sydney, Australia, crushing it. Exceptional father of three, Christian, patriot, husband, man of integrity, crushing it. Seven-figure income earner. Say hello to David. Heather says, Jamie Witt Thomas, listen, we need a chance. Thank you, Heather. So letting go of control is letting go of the outcome. So then there's the, if you're in sales, you own a business, then there's the lead poverty situation. I've been there a time or a thousand where you have more time than you have leads. Then then it becomes a recipe for, oh my God, what am I going to do? I mean, you're in desperation mode and you're, you're talking to people, you actually become the angry beggar or the angry giver. You're beg, please, please, please buy from me. Please, please, please join my enterprise. You too can struggle and feel out of control. I mean, that's typically what many people do. They live in this overwhelmed state trying to control the outcome that hasn't happened. Control comes from living in a household that's unpredictable and you try to control the outcome of what's going on with your parents. You try to predict what's going to happen with your parents. You're trying to predict that next beating that's about to happen, that next unpredictable moment, the fights that are going on. If you grew up an adult child of narcissists, adult child of alcoholics, an adult child of parents who are highly critical of you, or brothers and sisters who traumatize you, you're going to try and control the environment. And when you try and control that environment, you end up feeling out of control, which is what creates fight or flight. Fight or flight becomes a mechanism that most of the world holds onto. And it means you're just autonomic. It's an autonomic fight or flight. 
means the body that runs the brain goes into an autonomic state of fight or flight. Now, you can teach yourself and you can learn to neutralize that through the skill of letting go. And the letting go is the separation from the events and the feelings that no longer serve you. But if the ego goes, I don't know why I do this. I don't understand this. Oh, my brother, Michael Stroop. Michael is letting go of control. Michael has sent me messages two days in a row. He's learning day trading from his son, by the way. His son is 18 years old. His son is his mentor in day trading. That is amazing. That is Nicholas Stroop. Michael, let him know your results the last couple of days. So Michael is also a multiple six-figure income earner in in medical sales. You're crushing it, Michael. When I met Michael years ago, Michael has been buying my products for years. When I met Michael years ago, he was barely making in sales. Now he is a multiple six-figure income earner, multiple six-figure income earner. Michael, I mean, that, that's he's cracking the seal. That's what happens when you let go of control. You crack the seal. Michael's learning day trading from his 18-year-old son, and he's crushing it. Two back-to-back -back days, not far away from four-figure days day trading. The ultimate business, because day trading, you have no customers. You have no clients. It's you against the element. So Michael just said $960 first two days of day trading, and that's not because of luck. That is because of skills. It's better to be skilled then it is to be lucky. Understand that. And your skills are what will keep you in the game. Luck is what will seduce you to keep coming back to the game. Luck doesn't pay the freight. Skills are what allows you to pay for the trip. Love makes the world go round, but money always pays for the trip. Understand that. And it's going to be your, your determination, your decision, your ability to create on command. There's several sales professionals on here. I know Diane is here. So if you're here today, thank you very much for being here. This is absolutely awesome that you are here. Breathe, release, and let go. Jeffrey Combs back after being logged out. That was a that was a very unique situation. I have never seen that happen in 15 years of Facebook. I was doing a Facebook Live and got logged out. So I, as I said, I've never seen that happen. Breathe, release, and let go. Good to have you here this afternoon, everyone. Jeffrey Collins, President and Founder, Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated. Sarah, how are you this afternoon? For those of you who are on my Facebook Live, I got logged out. I've never seen this happen. got logged out, and I had to set a, set a new passcode and come all the way back in. Good to connect with everyone. Breathe, release, and let go. Good afternoon, everyone. Sarah, you are the first back on Facebook Live this afternoon. Breathe, release, and let go. The topic was, is letting go of control. If you were on Facebook Live this afternoon, I was hosting an event, and all of a sudden, it just shut me down. So I'm back on here. It was a trip. So imagine your Facebook page. It just, it just logged me out. I've never seen that happen in 15 years. Heather, I got logged out. I've never seen that happen. Like I was sitting here with my phone and my laptop in the background, my Facebook page is in the background, and it just logged me out. I have never seen that happen. So breathe, release, and let go. Fortunately, I have Henry Klauke, my millionaire apprentice, he got me back in like that, and it was a <laughs> fight or flight moment. So that was that was it. I got what Heather is laughing her ass off on this one. This one was unique. So the topic was letting go of control, and it was definitely a let go of control moment. Henry Klauke was on a, on a, on the way to do an errand. I called him my cell phone, and he turned right around, came back, and he even was like, "WTF? I've never seen this happen before." So if that ever, I mean, I'm doing a Facebook Live and Facebook just shut it down. That was a very hazy wave moment. Breathe, release, and go, let go. Cheryl Lynn, how are you? Good afternoon, everyone. Sarah, good to see you. Topic for today's Facebook Live is letting go of control. That was definitely a control moment. <gasps> Breathe, release, and let go. Topic is, so 
Here, here are the seven steps of letting go of control. Susan Dampier, your team is crushing it. Good to see you this afternoon. Tracy, you are crushing it. Heather, you are crushing it. So say hello to everyone. You know everyone. Good to have you all here this afternoon. Letting go of control. Control is worry about the future that never happens. So Cheryl Lynn says, I've had that happen once before. That's exactly what happened. Letting go of the future that hasn't happened. Then there's the regret of the past that we tend to hold on to. And Susan says hello as she is crushing life, says hello ladies. Good afternoon everyone. It's good, so good to see so many of you that I've known for so many years. Back in the day, right Susan? Orlando, Florida 2016. Tracy, back in the day. Remember, we were in Ponte Vedra in 2018. So Cheryl Lynn, back in the day, I've known you many years. I've known many of you for many years. Earl Treats, I saw Earl here on Facebook Live. I've known Earl for many, many years. Heather, going on three years here. Sarah Adams, 2017. Sarah Baker. God, I had a pack live just a few minutes ago. It was amazing. So that's what resilience is, baby. Bring it on. So in letting go of control, what you're letting go of is anxiety, fear, and doubt. It's letting go of poverty consciousness. It's letting go of lead scarcity and letting go of control. If you've ever left a business or left a company in network marketing, direct sales, or you've been in that situation, there's the, oh my God. And then when you actually get on the other side of it, it's like you find out, oh my God, this is so liberating. Or you've left a relationship or a job, you're, you're in such scarcity about leaving the job and that little play check that you're holding on to with a pair of tweezers, you're holding in that little $3,000 check, and then you go, oh, wow. Now I'm achieving 30000 a month. It's a good thing I let go of that control. And so many people will hold on to that which doesn't serve them because they can control that which doesn't serve them. That's called the payoff. They'll stay in dysfunctional relationships. They'll stay in trauma bonds, panic patterns, and they'll stay in jobs and careers that don't serve them. They'll stay in companies. They'll stay in situations. They'll stay in the circle of influence of controlling leaders who want to gaslight them. Oh, block those people. Fuck those people. Oh, oh. I mean, you'll, you'll encounter this frequently, people who try to control you. Now, you're, it's going to be your, and I just wrote a post on this earlier. Is there are people who really don't have your higher power in their control. So when you are flourishing, it happened to me. I, went, I was in a business where my uplines were like, three of my uplines were really upset with me because how dare you leave this team? I'm like, what do you mean leave this team? I'm starting a team call, dude. I'm not, I'm, I can do whatever. I'm not an employee. I mean, this, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not, but you're a servant leader. I go, no, I'm not a servant. I deliver service. You can be the service chief. I'm, I deliver service and value. And, and how can you do this to the team? I'm not doing anything to the team. I'm starting my own team call. I don't require permission. And that's one of the areas in recovery is you want to move into a state of higher consciousness where you don't have to explain, validate, and justify yourself to your perpetrators, your violators, your groomers, and the narcissists that have been in your family. So that's, as you have a better understanding of that fuckery and that control, you'll be able to breathe, release, and let go. And you'll feel so liberated when you're on the other side of it. Now your ego wants to hold on to the silent suffering, the pain you hold on to, the pain of regret, the pain of the possibility of this and that. Your ego wants to hold on to those feelings. And this is why so many people stay in traumatic relationships. They feel guilty about other people's feelings. When you're in recovery, you will learn, first rule number one, that when you are truly humble, you can't be humiliated. Rule number two is you are not responsible for other people's feelings. Yeah, but what if? No, there's no yeah, but and what if. You're not responsible. When you're in truth, when you're standing in your power, 
and you're not seeking conflict, you're not looking for a fight and someone brings it to your door, it's going to be your responsibility to stand the gaff as a man of God, a woman of God, a woman of power. I mean, it's going to be your responsibility to stand right there in that truth and be able to stand right there and, and stand that gap and be able to stay right there, breathe, release, and let go, and let the world know that you're not responsible for their feelings. You're responsible for your own. So if someone's upset with you and you are coming from truth, passion, you're being your best self, you're not seeking to make anyone wrong or make them bad. You're not starting the conflict, but if someone brings it to your door, it's like, don't tread on me, chief. You have no idea the character I have in my recovery. You have no idea the courage that I have to stand the gaff of tyranny. When you come from that position of power, then you are truth. And when you let go of trying to control money and trying to control the outcome, so when you, when, you, when you cut off the flow of money, it's no longer money. When you start worrying about money, then it's something a lot more tangible. It's something you have to have. And when you're in sales and you come from poverty consciousness, lead scarcity, and you have to make a rank advancement or you have to pay that freight, you're like sabotaging, the, you're sabotaging yourself in that process. And you absolutely cut the flow off. This is, this is the lead right here. This man reached out to me last night. I was his coach 15 years ago in Australia when I spoke there. I spoke there on two different occasions. He sent me a message last night. He's ready to hire me and wants me to do a Zoom call for me. That's called organic. That is exactly what you deserve, Karen. That's what you deserve, all of you that are in direct sales, network marketing, that have skills and talent, you've built teams before, you, defa you, you deserve to go over to the, to the faucet and turn the water on because that's the flow. Just go, and when you finish this Facebook Live today, go to any faucet in your house and turn on the water because that's the flow. That's all you have to do is turn on the flow. Because when money ceases to be service and value, then it becomes money. And when it's money, then there's the term des, desperado, des, desperate, desperado. You become desperate for it. And when you're desperate for it, then it's money. And then that money isn't spiritual any longer. And money, the spirituality of money is the service and the value and the camaraderie and the goodness that comes from building a team, building a culture, building a bridge, bringing people together. It's the, it's the events that shape the feelings. It's the events you host. It's the trainings. And when it's that feel good feeling that you feel from being connected to source, to people. It's the soulmate, the teammates that you begin to attract. It's the, it's the connection. Like David Harris was my client, hired me in 2010. It's an amazing story. I hired David to rehab a boat for me. He restored a 1958 Chris Craft, a Continental, with a Hemi motor in it. 1958, restored the trailer. We went back and forth to Lake Tahoe for over a year, restoring this beautiful piece of art. And when we were finished, the name of the boat was called The Producer. And when we were finished, I sold it to David because he was the rightful owner. Now, in reality, I lost over $100,000 on the, the whole project of the boat, but it really wasn't about the $100,000. It was about the boat and the boat ending up in the right owner's hands. And David, is, if, you want, if you follow David Harris, you'll see multiple pictures of, of my dream, the producer, but it actually became his dream. And I was able to easily and effortlessly let go of that boat because I had other situations that I wanted to create. Because it really wasn't about the boat, it wasn't about the money, it was about the connection, it was the creativity. And that boat should have been in Michigan, not in California, and that boat is now in Michigan, where it was made in a lake where David Harris owns it. Great story, David and I participated in it, the bond that we created of that boat was, you, you can't pay for that. It was amazing. Nikki, good to see you this afternoon. Nikki, congratulations on your success. I had an awesome coaching session with your your partner yesterday, your, your husband. Good to see you all of you here this afternoon. 
might be a little choked up here because that's when money is a whole nother level of spirituality. When money ceases to be energy, then it becomes money. Then that money becomes cold and sterile and isn't, it's not, that's not the purpose. Money is, is the purpose of money is to X change. That's change. So it's to X hyphen change. That's what money, the purpose is, it's a, it's a bartering system. It's a value proposition. And when, when money doesn't have the value that it, that it should have, then it, then it ceases to become spiritual and becomes stale. And then it doesn't flow the way it should. That's what happens when you're desperate. It's not flowing to you. So that's my content for you this afternoon. Wendy, good to see you this afternoon. Nikki, thank you for the compliment. Thank all of you for being here on Facebook Live. This was two Facebook Lives in one 33-minute segment. For those of you who came on early, Facebook kicked me, kicked me off right in the middle of Facebook Live and forced me to reset my password and log in right in the middle of Facebook Live. That has never happened to me in 15 years. It was definitely a hazy wave moment and put me in a position to breathe, release, and let go. And I'm right here with you this afternoon wrapping it up. I'll be back here at 9 p.m. Pacific. You're welcome, Karen. Looking forward to coaching you tomorrow. Cole, good to see you this afternoon. Our country requires you, Cole, step up to the plate. You know that you are the woman for the task. Cole, thank you very much for being here. Thanks all of you for being here this afternoon. Breathe, release, and let go. Jeffrey Combs, President and Founder, Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated.